This is the Podcast Engineer, helping businesses market through the power of audio. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Aaron Ninson, the Podcast Engineer, and today I wanted to take a look at USB and analog microphones. So without any ado, comment, like, rate this video, let's get into it. This is a dynamic microphone. And this is a high-end broadcasting microphone. What are the differences and why use this instead of USB? Or why use USB instead of this? We're going to get into this and much more. So the purposes for using one of these so-called broadcasting microphones is that it's heavy and it's very 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 nice. This particular microphone, the How Sound PR40, cost $400 to $300, depending on where you look. This microphone is a Sennheiser 835E. This is a dynamic microphone. So sometimes for singers that you'd see people using like this. Now, you can tell that there are what are called XLR connectors. These connectors use the right, left, and ground channel of this microphone and are wired to go into a interface such as a Focusrite 18920, which takes the signal of this microphone and brings it to the computer for audio editing later. This is what you would do if you are running a microphone on a boom stand, sort of like this, but higher up for movies or for your own videos. We'll get to that later. But the thing with these is they are expensive and there are tons of them and they're not really plug and play. You kind of have to know what you're doing and how to set it up and all that. With the USB microphone, you really don't have to. You just plug it in and you're ready to go. I would not suggest blue snowball microphones just because they do not sound the best. You can spend 50 bucks on one, but you can also spend a little bit more around 100 and get a Blue Yeti, which will give you a lot more parameters. And the parameters, what I mean by that are the microphone presets that you get. With that, you get four to five microphone settings, depending on, well, for both of the, for both of the Blue Yetis. Blue is a really good company and I really stand behind their products. I really like their products, except for the Blue Snowball. Um, that's gone down in price in the past few years. When I was looking at it, it was around 70 to 80 bucks. Now it's down to 50. It's not a bad microphone for the price, but you might as well wait, save your money and get a Blue Yeti. It will help you and you will be able to do a lot more with it in the future. And it's better constructed. It's made out of the Yeti and the Yeti Pro are made out of aluminum, whereas the Blue Snowball is plastic and it just it just feels and looks cheap. So let's move on to a couple other microphones and explain why you'd want to use the Hassan PR40 or any other condenser or dynamic microphone. Now, by using either a condenser or a dynamic microphone, you have a lot of choice. You have a lot of brands competing for your money and you have a lot more choice than you would with the USB microphones. And plus, you get a lot more quality out of something like this than you would, say, out of just a USB microphone that you could get from anywhere. And you can tweak the sound a lot more than you can with a USB microphone. USB microphone is what you get is what you get. Let me show you the inside of at least this condenser microphone or this dynamic microphone, sorry, the Sennheiser e, uh, 835E. This is what the capsule looks like. So the sound is directly coming from the capsule. That's why these are called vocal mics or dynamic microphones because the capsule only picks up in front. This is why they are very, very good at 
vocal microphones because they only pick up what's around them. Condenser microphones are somewhat of the same way. Let me get this out of here. But these broadcasting microphones usually sit like this and will only pick up from this side. As you can see, this does has, have a little bit of a dent in it, but that does not affect the quality at all. This is a great broadcasting microphone. I do have a couple other ones that are ridiculously huge that I bought because they were on sale and I use those sometimes. And these will pick up from here, but they'll also pick up a little bit of the room noise. But again, that can be adjusted in processing and you just get for, in my opinion, and for what I like to do, you get a lot more with one of these than you do with a USB microphone. Now don't get me wrong, Blue and a couple other manufacturers have a lot of good USB microphones. But again, you only get what you are paying for. And for me, I'd rather spend my money and learn to understand broadcasting and audio podcasting. I have something like this. And this just goes on a microphone stand or on a mount, on a desktop mount like this. And you can do a lot more adjusting through a mixer or software. And I like it better, in my opinion. Not saying that it doesn't do, that USB microphones don't do bad at all. But if you can, get yourself a two-channel interface or even a one channel, plug this in, have it on a boom mic, and you're good to go. Learn what you're going to do and be the master at it. Whether it's USB or condenser or dynamic, you can still get quality out of what, out of the product. And this didn't really come with a bag, so it just gets tossed in with mics I'm trying to find a bag for it right now. But this, you get this nice case for the Sennheiser and do mark your stuff with, this is a uh, a gray Sharpie to for you to identify, but also for others to identify so they don't walk, so it doesn't grow legs and walk off with it. But look at that presentation. Presentation is nice and you do get a couple of cleaning cloths that I haven't, used yet but I just like having bags to carry with presentations makes it easier to transport and for me being an audio guy that is totally fine this is worked has worked for me and continues to work for me and I really 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 like it so that's just a look on USB and dy uh, uh, dynamic condenser analog what, what are called analog microphones if you have any questions please comment down below with what you use, what you want to see more of. Give this video a like, comment, rate it, share it, because the YouTube alg algorithms have messed everything up. So, you know, if you don't do this, I don't know what's gonna happen. No, I'm kidding. I'll continue to do these regardless. So let me know what you guys want to know. Um, you know, do you want to know, understand, um, more the do, do you like the top five stuff do you like this stuff I'm going to be doing a lot more with these videos the videos come out about once a week so I'll see you guys on the next week's the podcast engineer video podcast talk to you later